you've never seen a Somali and you walk by and see them, you're going to say, that's a little fox. It may look like a fox, but it's actually a Somali, a striking feline, nicknamed the fox cat. They have very bushy tails, and they have a very bushy ruff and a pointed ears. Agile and active, these curious cats are famous for their dexterity. They can uh, use their paws you know, almost like um, a monkey, and they can hold objects and uh, manipulate things. So if you're sitting and having your family dinner, um, don't be surprised if your Somali jumps on the table and starts reaching out to grab its fair share. Their playfulness is well known, but the Somali's ancestry is a bit of a mystery. It was the 1950s when the breed first appeared in America. It is believed that the Somali um, developed through the crossing of an Abyssinian and a long-haired cat. Kind of a long-haired Abyssinian. One of the marks of this frolicking feline is its ticked coat, which has between four and twenty bands of color on each hair. It gives them a kind of speckled appearance. Absolutely gorgeous. The Somali coat comes in four recognizable colors. Red, ruddy, blue, and fawn. And don't forget that luxurious bushy tail that no Somali is without. When you're as beautiful as this pampered Somali, maintaining your appearance is a top priority. Indoor cats especially act like a Swiffer and they pick up dust and dander and dirt and they can get really dirty. Somalis can make excellent pets. If you're considering one, keep these things in mind. These medium-sized cats have a few health issues. They're prone to some dental problems, and a small percentage suffer from something called PK deficiency. Without this uh, particular enzyme, they get anemia, which can cause you know, weakness and even collapse. In the grooming department, Somalis require a moderate amount of attention. They do have that undercoat, that mat, so they're going to need to be brushed about three times a week. Fortunately, cats pitch in and help with self-care. Did you ever wonder why feline tongues feel like sandpaper? There are hundreds of papillae, or prickly protuberances, on cats' tongues. And they use them like a comb, removing any traces of odor that might warn prey of their whereabouts. This energetic feline isn't recommended for the frail or the elderly. It's that kind of cat who will knock things off mantelpieces, but so gorgeous to look at you, have to forgive them. To sum up, Somalis have a few congenital health problems that can be avoided by seeking out reputable breeders. They should be brushed two or three times a week, and they're better suited to families who have the energy to entertain them. If you're looking for a lovely cat with a lively personality, the Somali can make a faithful feline friend.